Everyone knows what corn looks like. As tall as a grown man, bright green, giant juicy cobs covered in golden kernels. And we all know where corn grows too, the Midwest. Well, it turns out neither one is really true. In fact, to find real corn, you need to go to central Mexico. The ancestor of corn is this uh, little branched grass in, in Mexico called teacinte. That's right, corn isn't a vegetable, it's a grass. And the cobs of that original plant are just slightly larger than a quarter, certainly not big enough for a meal. So how did this stubby little Central American grass turn into the giant green monster that crowds the fields of Iowa? People. This is a product of, of 10,000 years of domestication and now breeding to get this plant, which is tall and produces these large ears of seeds. The man-made work of improving corn is still going on at Iowa State University, Ames, Iowa. And the pressure is on. Corn producers want to increase yields by 6% every five years. Luckily, corn is ready-made for selective breeding. It's a perfect plant. It's got both male and female flowers, and so it's the easiest plant to manipulate. We can take the pollen from another corn plant and mix it with the, the female parts and essentially take the best traits from two plants. One parent grows well in tight rows. The other produces large ears. Crossbreed them, and you might get a hybrid capable of generating more corn per acre. So right now, yields are going up in Iowa at about the rate of about two bushels per acre per year. Getting the corn plants to crossbreed may be easy, but finding a breakthrough hybrid requires a lot of trial and error. Like creating a new drug, breeding new corn varieties can take years of work and cost a fortune. The hybrid seeds that a farmer plants has millions of dollars of research behind it. And our symbiotic relationship with corn doesn't end in the breeding lab. Getting the man-made corn to grow isn't just a matter of scattering some seeds and hoping for the best. You pay for everyone, you won't plant everyone. 